to begin with, we go to the letter tab. Now you note that I've actually chosen the review to color font, a suffix of MF. Now the MF means in this case motif fill. There are other suffixes such as CF, contour fill, QS, or quilt stipple fill, and ML, motif line, etc. Now these are obviously the defaults, what the font will come in to, with to begin with. A full list of these suffixes is in the 2011 free update user guide which is installed into the new user guide folder. OK, so now let's just create this lettering. Here we have a nice 5D with a heart motif. So, if I right click, I get motif fill coming up as one of the properties. Select that. Now I'm going to just choose a 50% offset. I'm going to increase the size of the um, heart. Actually, I want to do that disproportionately. I'll take it down there. I want a slightly elongated heart. Click on OK. And there we are. Let's just zoom into that to see it a little bit better. OK. So now I do a right click, bring up the properties again. And of course, I can use any of my machine moti motifs that I have. But for this uh, example, I think I'm just going to use uh, the hand stitch, which is in the universal section. Click on OK. And there we go, a nice hand stitch effect. So I can, of course, use any of my machine motifs, or I can design my own motifs in Design Creator. Now, you may play around with motifs for some time to get the effect that you want. So, once you have the effect, how can we use that on another font? Let's just have a look at that. So, for instance, we just delete this design, I'm going to make some smaller lettering. We just make 5D again. We can see it comes in with our default heart. OK, so now we can change this. Let's change it again to this hand stitch effect. Click on OK. And there it is. OK, so what I should have done was put the word embroidery underneath. How can I do that? If I enter it in here, just make that a little bit smaller, do apply, we can see that I've got the original heart back again. OK, so we delete that. I've still got my original lettering. Actually, I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. OK, what I could do is I could do a right click, go to Properties. Now if I enter it here, also get the alignment correct, click on OK. And there we have 5D Embroidery in the effect that I wanted. So what I did, if you recall this, I started off with this 5D having hearts. Okay, I played around, I got it to where I want, I then did a right click and I added the word embroidery and it, it of course used the same motif. Another way to do it, if you know what you're doing, or what you want rather, is to use the options here. If I use the options, new box comes up, slightly different layout. Here's our stitch types. can pull that down to show the motif fill. I click on the ellipses and up comes the properties. So again here I can change the motifs. Okay, so let's have a slightly different effect now. Click on OK. So now when I actually make this it will come up with those as the new default. So there you go. Slightly bigger, too big again. 
Let's change the properties, do the alignment, make it a little bit smaller. And there we have it. OK. So, the options though, will remember this setting as long as I don't choose another font or close the program.